<laughs> so tonight we're gonna go check out this little uh uv light that we got from olight real cheap uh we're gonna go look for hornworms we heard that we can find hornworms with uh with the uv light so we're gonna go check it out uh, all right everybody get mean mean face okay <laughs> <laughs> right, so we're starting with our bell peppers our bell pepper plants one of them was tore up pretty good you got to keep the light pretty steady so i can keep up uh, the reason we don't have the light on the camera is because it kind of fades away um, you can't see the black light so much it's not a black light it's a uv light flashlight and i'll show it here in a minute what's this right down here what is that is that just poop okay you see anything in there anywhere no no all right, let's go to the next one. We need a container. Let's get a container. All right, so we went ahead and got a cup to put them in because we know there's one on here. Now we've already seen it. Oh, yeah. Yep, so let's turn this off. Turn the UV light on. Let's try it. Right. So check it out. You can see there. Here, let me see the light. Oh, shit, there's one in there. Yeah, you see it? Yeah. So you can see how it, hold on. You can see how he really glows. Yeah. Pull this out of the way for me. You see how he glows really well. You probably can't see it as good as we can, but he glows real well with this UV light. That is really cool. Get it. Yeah. Who wants to grab him? Oh, okay. I don't want to. Go ahead and grab him. Shorty, hold on to the cup and don't drop the cup whenever you put him in there, okay? Okay. Bruh. You got to pull him off. He holds on pretty tight. Come on, dude. All right, let me see. Look how he's glowing in there. Isn't that awesome? All right, let's see if there's any more. Who wants to run the light? I do. I want to. You got the cup. Let, let oh. Pity run the light. Now, there's something here. What is this? Is this part of the flower? Yeah, I think that's just flower. Okay, let's go to the next one. The bell pepper plant we had, they got chewed up pretty good. We it pulled the bear poop. pepper off of it. And, uh, here, hold it. We pulled some bell peppers off of it that were bad and we're hoping that the worm was in one of them because they had holes in them and the chickens probably already enjoyed that so we don't see anything on this one we're gonna move to the next one <laughs> so shorty actually found this one she stepped on him he's not on the plants but i guess he's moving along he's moving on he's a pretty good sized guy dude he's as big as my finger all right so i'm gonna turn on the light you can turn that off now yeah. Wait, they crawl on the cup. So you can see that big guy. Yeah, he's going to fight you. Grab him. Grab him. Put him in the cup. Ugh, I don't want to hold this. <laughs> Ew. That thing felt weird. Yeah, he's a big guy compared to that little one, isn't he? <laughs> yeah. Okay, what are we let's eating? keep looking. we got two more plants to look for. Or to look at. I just like... You can't see nothing in the dark. Look over it real good. Let me know if you see anything and I'll turn the camera back on. Well, let's just turn the big one. Ooh. You trying to get away? Mm-hmm. Those things are weird looking. Yeah, the chickens love them. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Alright, so we checked the little bell pepper plants. Now we're going to go over and check all of our tomato plants and there's quite a few. Are we going to see the rabbit trap? Yeah, that's another thing. We've got a rabbit trap out here. There's uh, a rabbit. We've noticed uh, some rabbit activity. So I put an apple in it. No, I'm not going to shoot it. I'd rather not kill it. It's a rabbit. You know, I can relocate it. So, right now we're doing the tomato oh, worm thing. What? That guy. What? Hmm? Look at this froggy. Oh. <laughs> oh, it's a big dude! <laughs> I wonder if we can see him with the UV light. I don't know. Try it. Okay. Turn the light off. Uh, he doesn't glow. What about Shorty? Does Shorty glow? The shorts glow really well. Alright, let's move on. Alright, we found another one. Right here. See how well he glows? Yeah. Man, that is just magic. 
All right, who wants to scoop him? I don't. Where'd he go? He's on there still. Where'd we see him at? He's right there somewhere. Um, Turn your light back on. He's right here. Oh, yeah, there he is. I was like, right there. Look at it. Really? Did he bite you? No. He just scared you? He got You're, you're just a wuss? No. He gooed you? Yeah. <laughs> Here. Wow. That's nasty. You're nasty. Alright, check it for more. Ew! Come on, keep checking the point. We got another one. A big one. Big boy. I'm not sure if this cup's gonna be enough. He's been there for a minute. All right, who wants to get him? Are you done getting him there? I got it. Are you sure? I'm right, gonna turn the light on. Why is he all wrinkly? Just fat. Come on, let go! <laughs> I want to squeeze it. You see a cup collection. He's a little rough looking in there. He's been through a couple of fights or something. All right, let's check some more. All right. Let me see. You ready to get it? No. He's right there. Look at that. He's really going in there. Shorty, please don't put your cup so high. You're pushing it out of my, out of my camera. Look how well they show up. That's awesome. All right, get him off. Wait. Wait. Let me see your cup. The smaller ones glow better than the bigger ones do. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we checked all the tomato plants. We'll come over here and check again with the rabbit trap. I looked at it already, it hasn't been tripped. There it is. It's a live trap. We got a we got an apple in there. We read that they would really like apples. Of course, he ain't gonna come while we're out here stumbling around in the garden. So let's see what we got. How many we end up with? Five. One, two, three, four, five. We got five hornworms. Mine. Five chicken food snacks. Mm -hmm. Chicken snacks. If we can wake them up and they'll eat them. We might just have to save them for tomorrow, huh? Mine got the biggest. Yeah, uh -huh. yours was the biggest. I just stepped on it. I don't know if you can see them on camera. There's a possum up there. He's eating out of our, our new compost pile area. I wanted to get it out of the garden. The cat sneaking up. I'm gonna be able to see him through that. He's gone. He's not gone. He's still there. Let's get closer. He'll probably scare the rabbit up too. Go up the hill. This is a hill. There he is. I don't know if you can see him in there. Yeah. This is true. Anyway, there's a possum. The rabbit usually stays over there in the tree. You don't see him though. This is a an Olight Warrior Pro, I believe. It's pretty impressive light. It gets bright. Hmm? Come on, that's an ant pile. Okay. So I recently read an article about how to uh, coexist with a tomato hornworm. And basically, the story is that it turns into a hummingbird moth, which is supposed to be like a super duper pollinator. So yeah, that kind of interests me as a gardener. But at the same time, uh, some of the ideas were to do like a sacrificial bed once you catch 
said hornworms you could put them in your sacrificial bed like our uh what got me thinking is our uh our sam's club bell peppers that would be perfect they haven't produced anything but their plants and the hornworms could eat them and survive and maybe get the moths of course we'd have to check them all the time for hornworms at that point but it's an idea maybe next year we'll play with it a little bit uh to date if my birds want to get up tonight i should say they're going to get a hornworm snack because i ain't having them eating if i made it come on girl chick, chick. Let's see what happens. <laughs> well, I don't know that I'll show that, but they woke up. They like the hornworm's neck. So I guess that's it. Uh, there may be another video soon. The girls went on a possum chase. <laughs> Country girls. <laughs> well, I guess I'll go check on them. And, uh, for now, that's our tomato UV light. I guess while I'm here in the light, I can show you. Uh, I said before, this is an Olight. This is the Olight i3 UV, I guess EOS. It's a little, uh, I don't know if that's coming through. So, uh, so anyway, it's just a little bitty little bitty uh, keychain style light I think I actually got it uh, as a special gift around the, the holiday seasons they do special runs on things and I ended up getting it then for like five bucks shipping or something like that maybe it was it was seven dollars it was cheap I remember it was really cheap I think it was almost free with shipping and maybe so the birds are all excited and woke up uh, so that one and then the big light that i was using is the you know, camouflage m2r warrior pro is it m2r warrior pro is what that one is so those are the two lights that i'm using uh, this one was significantly more expensive uh, i don't regret buying it uh, i've never spent so much money on a flashlight I uh, kind of got caught up in the idea of doing it, but uh, if you want me to do more talk about it, real talk, um, I'm not in their pocket. I had to pay good money for everything I got uh, from them. I have some decent lights from them. Uh, worth it or not, uh, we can talk about that later. So anyway, that's it for tonight uh, on our UV light. Looking for hornworms. I thought it was really cool. It was really cool that it worked. Uh, good information. That we got from the internet <laughs> somebody linked us to it maybe uh maybe it was honda 55 i know that the honda 55 thank you for linking me to the coexisting with the hornworm uh turning into hummingbird moth or yeah i think it's hummingbird hummingbird moth i would have never known about that but anyway i'm blabbing now it's hot it's dark uh, my girls are chasing critters in the woods i'm gonna go find them and Probably wrangle them up and hopefully haul off a possum if they get a hold of it. <laughs> Y'all have a good one. Any luck? What? Did you catch it? Nope. Nope. Yeah. It's probably gone. Did she see it again? Nope.